Our final speaker for this evening is from our adult program, Commercial Foods and Culinary Arts. I'm honored to present to you Ms. Eric Smalls with a speech entitled Lemonade. Before I formally begin my speech, there are two strong, powerful, dedicated women that I owe a huge thank you to. Firstly, the beautiful woman next to me, Director Dylan Bennett. As a member of the Student Advisory Board, I have been lucky enough to shoot around ideas with her, including this very ceremony you are all attending this evening. It has been my pleasure to watch her take students' ideas and bring them to life. Next, I'm going to was able to make it here tonight, Cindy Montgomery from Career Sources. She absolutely walked me through every single step of the way. Cindy, I truly want to thank you. You went above and beyond for me to make this all possible, and I'm forever grateful and blessed for you. Sometimes, life can deal you some pretty unfair cards, making you face many adversities and hardships. In my personal opinion, there are two things you can do when life hands you lemons. You can A, fold, quit, and give up, or B, simply make lemonade. Let me paint a picture for you. Can you imagine being a little girl growing up in a home full of domestic violence and drug addiction? Can you imagine your own mother calling you ugly and telling you that you will never amount to anything? Can you imagine being woken up from the screams of her scared, crying out for your help from the hands of your stepfather, a man that never loved her. Can you imagine being taken advantage of at the age of seven by a man 15 years older than you? As if that wasn't enough, the little girl was poor, and we all know how cruel little kids can be. Can you imagine not being loved at home and bullied all day at school? At that age, what little girl would know how to take those lemons and make lemonade? Yet, she did. Imagine now that little girl is 15 years old thinking she finally found someone who loved her with all of their heart only to walk in on him cheating on her three years later. Now, by the age of 18, her hands were tired from trying to squeeze all of the positivity into her cup that she called life. She gave up on making lemonade. She tried to take her own life. She thought that death had to be better than the world that she was living in. But luckily for her, God had other plans. So despite all, the young girl fought every single day to not let her lemons change her outlook on life. They say, they say history repeats itself. So even though that then little girl told herself she would never be like her mother, there she stood 14 years later with a man who was just like her stepfather. She would often flash back to all of the lemons she squeezed and couldn't help but wonder how she got there. How she went from a place of sheer happiness to uncontrollable fear. She found herself imprisoned in her own home where self-love was punishable with physical and mental abuse. About six years and two beautiful angels later came the last straw. Her birthday, nonetheless. She was about six months along with her daughter, and in a fit of his rage, a chair broken over her back left her crying, clenching her belly on the floor, praying that her baby girl was okay and that her son would remain asleep. This was the first time that she feared for her life. He stood over her with blank eyes and zero remorse. Finally, his karma caught up with him, as she does everyone, and he was sent away. This was her time to break free, she thought, packing everything that would fit into her small sea brain. Eight months pregnant with their daughter and their now two-year-old baby boy, she drove the very long 1,400 miles to the Sunshine State. 
no real plan or clue as to what she was going to do, but she knew that her kids deserved a better life and she was determined to give it to them. She was blessed enough to have a childhood friend live here by the name of Mabel Benson and open her home to her and her kids for as long as she needed. I made it out were my only thoughts. You are not your mother, Erica. I was free, but most importantly, my babies were free. I am now saying I, because as some of you could have guessed and determined, that story of a now strong 28-year-old culinary graduate, well, she's Three, four, five ingredients. 
For a little bit there, I just thought he didn't trust me with the big stuff, you know, put me in, coach, put me in. But, <laughs> but then I started to understand. Get the basics and the core fundamentals of what you were doing down and perfected first. You can then take that core and make it whatever you want. I get it now, Chef. And it applies to so much more than cooking. Chef Jenna Hartman. It saddens me that we became close so late. But with a heart as big as yours, I know why your wall was up so high. You are a pure soul in this cold world, and that is rare. You have taught me that no matter if someone is younger than you, there is always something to learn for, from everyone. Thank you for believing in me from day one and going above and beyond for me and my family. I truly look up to you, and I wish you much luck with your master. Not that she needs it, guys. She's planning a wedding. She has a fiance at 19 month old. I'm pretty sure she had perfect attendance and she's holding a 4.0. Yeah. That's, that's absolutely insane. But you are something special. And I hope more than anything, Chef, you remain friends after this. The tough one. To my father. I have to keep this short or I'll cry. You are my strength. You are my light. Everything that I am today is because of you. You have saved me from the darkest times in my life and never gave up on me. Whether 2 p.m. or 2 a.m., my line, your line has always been and will always be open for me. The loving guidance that you have shown me for 28 years, no amount of money could ever repay. So I'll be making you proud of it. I love you forever and a day, Elijah Bucky Smalls. To my babies, Julius and Eliza, mommy, everything she does is for the both of you, and I love you more than your little hearts and minds could ever understand at this age. <coughs> Lastly, but never least, my best friend, Courtney. I have three words that ring really deep in our heart. Who real recognizes real. You are my forever friend. And one of my biggest inspirations. I love your entire soul. And thank you for everything that you've done for me. <laughs> All right, y'all, time to wrap this up. Ending. <laughs> I addressed the class of 2018 with this. If you are ever feeling frightened about what comes next, don't be. Embrace the uncertainty and allow it to lead you places. Be brave as it challenges you to exercise both your heart and mind, as you can then Create your own path to happiness. Don't waste time with regrets. Spin wildly into your next action. Enjoy the present, and I cannot say this one enough, each moment as it comes, because you will never get another one like it again. Never quit, for only then have you failed. If I gave up on squeezing all of my lemons, I wouldn't be standing on this stage here before you tonight. Never stop growing, never stop learning, and be able to accept and understand that the first step to success is accepting failure. But make no mistake, us champions, we fall down nine. But baby, we get up ten. Lastly, <laughs> if you should look up and find yourself lost, simply take a breath and start over. Retrace your steps back to the purest place in your heart where your hope lives, and I promise you, you will find your way again. Spread love, and most importantly, love yourself. Congratulations, class. <laughs>